Hey, what's up? This problem is a little bit uh, more challenging. So it says, find the equations of the tangent lines to the graph of f of x equals x squared that pass through the point 1 comma negative 1. So solution. So in problems like this, um, the first thing you usually do is you draw a picture. A picture usually helps you figure out uh, the problem. So there's the x-axis, there's the y-axis. And let's draw the graph of uh, x squared. So maybe x squared looks something like that. So that's the graph of y equals x squared. And the tangent lines pass through the point 1, negative 1. So here's 1, negative 1. And so maybe our, one of our tangent lines would look something like this. That's, that's a rough tangent line. And then the other tangent line maybe would look something like this. That would be our other, our other tangent line. So we have two tangent lines, and we have to find them. Right? We have to find them, right? So tangent lines to the graph of this function that pass through 1, negative 1. Okay, so we know that the slope of the tangent line is the derivative. So we know that. So we know that the slope is going to be 2x. Right, because the derivative of x squared is 2x. So the slope of the tangent line is 2x. So now we need another way to find the slope. So I'm thinking we can think of this as an ordered pair, 1, negative 1. And we can think of this as x comma y, right, x comma y. But in this problem, y is equal to f of x always, right? So it's, so it's x, x squared. And now we can use rise over run, right? So slope is also equal to rise over run. So you subtract the y values. So in this case, it would be x squared minus negative 1. Right, subtracting the y values over x minus 1. Right? Slope is rise over run. So x squared minus negative 1. So it's x squared plus 1 over x minus 1. This will be x squared plus 1 over x minus 1. So on one hand, the slope is equal to 2x. It's the derivative, right? The slope of the tangent line is the derivative. On the other hand, slope is rise over run. Therefore, these two equations must be equal, right? So this implies, this implies that 2x is equal to x squared plus 1 over x minus 1. And now we have to solve for x. So let's see. I'm thinking we can multiply by x minus 1. So let's try that. Then we can distribute the 2x. So we would get 2x squared minus 2x. These cancel, and here we get x squared plus 1. Okay. Then subtract the x squared. So we get x squared minus 2x equals 1. And then subtract 1, so uh, minus 1, minus 1. So we get x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. <laughs> Uh-oh. So this, this does not factor right nicely, right? I don't know how to factor this in my head. So I'm going to write it again up here. So x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So I'm thinking we can complete the square. So maybe add 1 to both sides. x squared minus 2x equals 1. And now complete the square. So when you complete the square, you, you take the coefficient of x, you divide it by 2, and you square it. So the coefficient of x in this case is negative 2. So if we do negative 2 over 2, we get negative 1. And when we square that, we just get 1. So let's add that to both sides. So we get x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. This is called a perfect square trinomial. It always factors. Okay, it's always x, parentheses, and a 2. Then you just take this number and you always divide it by 2. So boom, minus 1. Right, negative 2 over 2 is minus 1. And here you get 2. Take the square root. So you get x minus 1. And you always get a plus or minus when you take the square root of a variable squared like that. Add the 1. And so we get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. So these are our x values. Now that we have our x values, we can plug them into the slope 
to get our two distinct slopes, right? Because we have two tangent lines, right? So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. So for, let's do each one individually. For x equals one plus the square root of two, m, which is our slope, is two x. So it's two, right, two x is the slope. So it's two times one plus square root of two. Okay, that's, that'll be our slope. So it's two plus two square root of two. So we have our x, we have our slope, m. We just need our y value. Well, our y value is given by f of x, right? So f of one plus square root of two, that's gonna be parentheses one plus square root of two squared, right? That's gonna be our y value, right? And I guess we could multiply this out. If you square the first one, you get one. You can multiply these two and double them, so you get two square root of two, and then you square the last one, so you get two. So recap, what have we done? We have our x, we have our y, and we have our slope. So let's label everything nicely. So for this first case, for this first case, m is equal to two plus two square root of two, and our point, uh, x1, y1, in this case, is one plus square root of two, comma, and then one plus two square root of two plus two. I just realized we can write this as um, three. <laughs> we can write it as three. So one plus square root of two, and then three plus two square root of two. That's a little bit, a little bit easier. Then we use our formula, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Plugging in y1, this is our y1 here, so it'd be y minus, now when you plug it in, you could distribute here if you wanted to, so you would get minus three minus two square root of two equals, and then m, m here is two plus two square root of two, and then it's parentheses x minus x1, and again, you could distribute here, you would get x minus one minus square root of two. I am not going to attempt to solve for y. I'm just going to call it a day on that one. <laughs> so that's the first That's the first tangent line. A tough problem. I, ha I hadn't done this problem in a long time before making the video. I didn't think it would be this messy. Uh, for, for the next one, for x equals, and it's up here, so it's minus. So it's 1 minus square root of 2. m in this case is 2, parentheses, 1 minus square root of 2. So it's two minus two square root of two. And then we need the y value. Well, to find the y value, you just take your x and you plug it into your function, right? So in this case, it would be one minus the square root of two quantity squared. You square the first one, you get one. You multiply these and double them, so you get minus two square root of two. Square the last one, you get two. And again, we get three minus two square root of two. So going to our formula, we have, going kind of fast, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So we have y, and then again we can distribute. Let me let me write down what we had. I, I didn't I didn't clarify it. So there's our m. And then our x1, y1, our x1 was this, and our y1 was this. There we go. There's our x1 and there's our y1. Got ahead of myself. So we need we need these things for for this equation. So y1, you can distribute the minus, so it's minus three plus two square root of two. Then m was parentheses two minus two square root of two. Then it's x, and then it's minus x1, so minus one, and when you distribute the minus here, this becomes a plus. So you can see the, the equations are very, very similar looking. So those would be the equations of the tangent line. So recap. Recap, the most important thing in this problem is that um, you know how to do it <laughs> at the beginning, right? So this picture, right? Draw the picture, the slope is 2x, and the slope is also rise over run. This is the key step, you know, when you, when you set these slopes equal, right? When these are equal, if you figure that out, you can probably grind through the rest. That's it.